Okay, people, Brian is getting a bad rap due to some good but inaccurate guesses early in this game's release about how to get him to trust you. Red wires, doing certain actions that have nothing to do with whether he trusts you in the end. They have something to do with other things, but not that. So I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to do to get Ryan to trust you in the end. And it makes sense. Everything I'm about to tell you has been thoroughly tested with many, many spreadsheets and flowcharts. So I can assure you that this is very, very accurate information. Okay, I'll go now. <laughs> okay, let's think about this. Ryan has been with his dad his entire life, right? Jed is a stand-up guy in the community. He's built his life around his father. In the things that Ryan says, it's very clear he tries to be like his dad. He wants to be the hero. He's the one that's supposed to help people and save people. My job is to keep people safe. His whole identity is wrapped up in this belief. You can't just change people's beliefs just by having crushes on them. I mean, a little bit here and there, but not like the entire structure of who you are. Now, I'm not putting anyone down at all. As you're playing this game for the first time, you're trying to figure out what could possibly make this difference, and you're grabbing at things that seem to make sense. I get it. Let's clear up some rumors. Rumor one. In chapter one, when you're trying to find Ethan, you have to choose the red wire if you just happen to get the conversation option where Ryan asks you which wire to cut. Go with red. It's always red. False. Dang. Back to the drawing board. This conversation has no bearing on Ryan's trust or your love score with him. Oh yes, there's a love score. I get why this was thought of as the correct option because if you choose the other one, don't put this on me, Alex is super rude. I am not making that choice for you. It makes sense that like, you know, she's a little bit more helpful, but it actually has no weight on his trust or love score. And again, yes, there is a love score. Rumor two. When Ryan asks you to back him up about whether Gabe made the phone call or not, you have to choose he's right. right. I was there when Gabe made the call. False. Again, no bearing on his trust for you. In fact, I think he would actually trust you more if you said not quite because you're being honest there. I tried that out. It didn't make a difference either. Question has no bearing on anything related to his trust. Rumor three, you have to hug Ryan. False. Nope, he doesn't care. And let's think about this. I need to physically embrace you for physical touch is important. No matter like what you want. For me to like trust that my dad tried to kill you. Like, no, 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 no. Love score on the other hand, another story. Hug or handshake doesn't matter in terms of Ryan's trust. Rumor four, Ryan cannot see Alex have an angry outburst because she took Charlotte's anger away from her in chapter three. This one is actually true but we'll get to that in a minute. And the last rumor that I've seen a lot is that when you're asking if Ryan is aligned with you or not at the council meeting, you have to choose you, you believe, believe me. me. Right? False. Why are you doing this? I think this one came up because there is a, this action will have consequences <laughs> notification that comes up, but it has no bearing on this whatsoever, no matter what. And in fact, you can already tell if Ryan's going to believe you before that question even comes up based on what he does. Okay, rumors are squashed. Now here's what you actually need to do. Charlotte definitely has to support you in the council meeting. I believe you too. She only supports you if you left her with her anger. I'm glad I let Charlotte overcome her own anger. I think it gave her the strength to support me. Miss Harmon, please remember the terms of your settlement. It doesn't matter if she realizes that she wants to take the money, if she signed the affidavit, or if she stands up and supports you and then says, screw the money, or if she stands up and supports you and didn't even you know, have the money issue at all. Any one of those options is required for Ryan to trust you in the end. I can't help you. I think it makes sense. Because you left her with her anger, you didn't take her anger, so you didn't have that really emotional, angry outburst. Why does this matter for Ryan's trust? He has this belief set about his dad, and then all of a sudden he's seen you like blowing up, and it's going to like make him doubt you a little bit. I mean, it makes sense, especially if his core belief about his dad and his entire life is so strong, which it is. So getting Charlotte's support at council is 100% required. There's no actual evidence of anything. The next thing that's required is that Pike has to show evidence. Actually, Diane, there is evidence. Oh, for fuck's sake. And how does Pike show evidence at council? 
when you're at the police station, you have to take his fear away. Taking that fear away will give him the courage to show that evidence. And whether he's afraid because of Typhon or because he has a crush on Diane, yes, he has a crush on Diane if he didn't pick that up. Deputy Pike, do you have some kind of personal issue with me? Doesn't matter. You took his fear away and now he shows evidence. I'm not scared of you anymore. Makes sense to bash this core belief he has about his dad. If there's no evidence, why would he believe that? And the next thing that you need to guarantee that Ryan believes you in the end, you just have to have either Eleanor or Ducky support you at council. It doesn't matter which one. If Ducky supports, he suggests that Alex deserves a fair shot in an investigation around this. She deserves at least an investigation of her claims. And that would make sense to Ryan, too. If Eleanor supports, she says, I've always found Alex to be a very trustworthy person. Either one of these things helps Ryan make his decision. And of course, if they both support Alex, great, but you only technically need one of them. To get Ducky to support Alex during council, you have to find him during the spring festival and tune into his emotions a bit. Hit, he's at the Black Lantern in the back with the pool table. And to get Eleanor to support Alex at council, you just have to not let Riley find out about the secret about her Alzheimer's. It seems kind of strange at first that that's why she would support you. But if you think about it, if Riley finds out, she really comes to terms with the disease she has. And because of that, she also thinks that that might be happening to Alex, which of course is not true, but that's how she's thinking about it. You know our mind can play tricks on us. If Riley doesn't find out, she never had to come to terms with it, and she just knows that Alex kept her secret, so she trusts her. She wouldn't make these accusations lightly. Something must have happened. So if you have Charlotte's support, Pike's support, and either Ducky or Eleanor, it is guaranteed that Ryan will trust Alex. It doesn't matter what your love score is. You can be rude. You can be mean. You can say all the worst mean things at council and say like F him to Jed and all that kind of stuff. Doesn't matter. Charlotte, Pike, either Eleanor or Ducky. Done. But if you're interested in how to get a top love score with Ryan and what happens when you do and when you don't, definitely subscribe so you can find out more. I hope this helps. Bye. Talk to you later. Dad. Please, come clean. We'll figure it out together. It amazes me. The extent to which she has manipulated you. Come on, Dad.